Hi guys, it is Carissa and today, ooh, I hope the outside noise isn't too much, but I am sweating. <laughs> I just rearranged all of these items um, and I'm feeling a little overwhelmed. I had another good cry this morning over some of the things. I had wanted to find a way to share all of these things with you and my friend Meg of Smarty and Steve -O, I'm sure you guys know her by now, but I'll have her channel below. She posted after her recent baby shower and she was really smart about it. She just sort of separated things sort of into categories and um, everyone has already been thanked for these and this isn't really an unveiling video so much it is, it is kind of like a haul. This is by no means meant to be boastful in case you're not familiar with videos like this. It's just a nice way to share some of the items, um, some things that we chose and registered for and other things that were gifted to us specifically with us in mind. And these types of videos have become among some of my favorite to watch in preparation for having a newborn um, and a little one in my home just to see what kinds of things people decide on. So I hope this is helpful to some of you um, and I know some people just like to watch these sort of things. Some items of course will stand out and I will just, I won't be able to help myself and I'll mention who they're from but for the most part I'm not going to try to assign which items came from which family member or friend, mainly because they are all separated into categories and everyone was so, so generous and gave us multiple items. And um, when I got home, Mike had already sort of started sorting through things, so everything was separated from its original packaging. So just like Meg said in her video, please don't take that as me not being grateful or thankful. I made sure to thank everyone in person as many times as I possibly could, though I'll be getting a personalized thank you card and um, just for the sake of saving time in this video, I've got it all broken up and I'm going to try not to talk about each item too much. First let me tell you a little bit about the shower. It was held at a local bakery um, called the Mad Hatter Cafe. And they're well known for doing authentic English tea. We had a beautiful like little tea sandwich set up um, with iced tea and lemonade and punch. And it sort of lent itself to becoming an Alice in Wonderland theme. So I found a really great invitation package on Etsy and I'll link that for you below so you can see it. But the invitation was beautiful. The second I saw it, I knew I wanted to use it and um, we had Cupcakes made there with little pink and white roses and of course my family could not resist <laughs> Making sure that we had some hedgehogs in there as well um, They don't go directly with the theme, but I did find some coloring books online an Alice in Wonderland coloring book um, I think it was from China. It was a little bit of a strange adaptation <laughs> But it was an adult coloring book and there were hedgehogs placed all throughout that Alice in Wonderland coloring book so it actually went pretty well. I did put coloring pages out um, at each place setting so people could color while they were um, sitting around and socializing and I've been to a shower before where that was an option and it felt like a really nice icebreaker and it was really a nice something to do while, um, while we were there. For favors I chose EOS lip balms and I made sure to have one for every guest and a couple extra. And I have these little favor tags made on Etsy. I'll link that below as well. It's just a baby rattle that you put into the lip balm. You open it up and screw it back on with this little piece of paper. I'll show you one of those. I wore a dress from Pink Flush Maternity that I believe is still available, so I will have that linked for you below as well. And my friend Molly had come into town. She drove 10 hours. I mean, it was like just a little under 10 hours, but still. She drove a really long way with her sweet dog Marley to come stay with me for the weekend and attend my baby shower, and it was just amazing. And if any of you know Molly from YouTube, you love her just as much as I do, but she's mine. I'm claiming her. Um, <laughs> I'll have her channel linked below, especially if you are interested in weight loss, um, competitive and group weight loss um, contribution at Weight Watchers, you will enjoy her channel. But I just love her just because I love her and she makes daily videos. So I'll have her channel linked below if you would like to have a little bit of Molly in your life. She brought all of her gel nail supplies and painted my nails for the shower. And actually last night I was at Wegmans and the cashier asked me where I get my nails done. So she did a good job. Okay, it's becoming apparent that I picked the absolute worst time of day and place to sit in this room because of the sun. So I'll try and be conscious of that. I guess I will start with some toys because I have them here in the front. This is a Melissa and Doug Safari puzzle. Um, it's our first puzzle. This is a koi fish bath toy that lights up and I think it swims or floats. 
This is an Eric Carle teether rattle with a little lion on the front. And a little swimming penguin for the bathtub. You just wind up her little arms and she swims. I could not resist registering for this rattle. Hello, nostalgia. It is the Fisher Price corn popper as a rattle. And all the Skip Hop Hedgehog toys. <laughs> we have a backup roll around hedgehog ball. This is the mirrored click clack hedgehog. We have two hedgehog accordions. These are so cute. <laughs> the little pull and go car. And this egg shaker trio that has the hedgehog with a fox and an owl. This is the snack and go convertible booster seat by Safety First. And this was very exciting. My dad actually purchased some gifts. This is one of them and gave them to my sister to sneak into the shower for me. Um, but this is the Bumbo seat that I selected, which is this mint green color. I only was able to find it at Target. It was way more expensive on Amazon for some reason. And I think it's being discontinued. So I was really excited that he was able to grab one. Along with the Bumbo seat, we also received the tray. These are two hedgehog print muslin swaddles and a hedgehog sleep sack. It's perfect, I love it. Lucy thinks I'm distracted enough to not see her going for the, the stuffed animals. Huh, Lucy? You're so sneaky. This is the Fisher Price Kick and Play Piano Gym. That'll be fun. And this is the Fisher Price Comfort Curve Bouncer. I love the colors on that and the little woodland creatures, little fox and owl. And this is our diaper bag. It is a JJ Cole. This is the backpack sack. So it has a crossbody strap, but it also has backpack straps on the back side. Now I'll be honest, I'm not sure if this one is going to be the daddy diaper bag because this is the one that Mike likes the most. Um, I'm not saying that I won't use this. I prefer something that is wider and less deep. Um, but this bag is beautiful and it doesn't seem like it's too deep actually because there's a lot of pockets on the outside as well. Um, and depending on how I pack it, I think it'll be just fine. So we're debating right now on if we will ha each have our own bags or if we'll both just use this one. If you have any opinions on a diaper bag, like the size or shape or function or packing, any of that, I would love to hear it. My friends Kelly and Sarah gave me a gorgeous group gift and after I was done taking everything out of this box, I saw the flap and I was already crying from a few of the things they put in here, but look at the front of this box. And it goes perfectly in her nursery with the white, the gray, and the gold. It's just, just perfect. They know me so well. They also gave me this CD of baby blanket music. And these songs are all lullaby versions of Elton John songs. <laughs> I might just start listening to this now. I received so many unbelievable handmade gifts. I can't wait to show them to you. The first one here I'm going to show you is a necklace. She's my dad's cousin. I don't know what she is to me. We go through this family tree stuff all the time, but I always forget. But she made me this gorgeous black and sort of like moonstone hedgehog necklace. And in this box, I received a necklace from my mother. You guys, if you can imagine, I was crying pretty much the entire time I was opening gifts. I just couldn't stop. <laughs> but it is this beautiful pendant that says, love you to the moon and back. And that is actually also part of the bedding set that she gave me. So my mom, oh, it smells like her. I can smell her perfume. <laughs> um, my mom purchased us our bedding set. And this is by Love Text Baby. And it's the Willow set. And you can see it comes with a wall decal that goes with that necklace she gave me. Sorry about the book avalanche behind me. It keeps falling because Lucy keeps walking on it. And to go with the bedding set, my mom also picked up the blanket, which is so pretty and so soft. We also received a crib sheet, a Burt's Bees gray and white bee crib sheet. And this Totoro pillow has little hand pockets on the inside. <laughs> so cute. I'm going to pause on the like bedding and blanket type stuff and I'll do that in a moment. So here is this little Burt's Bees set. It comes with a coverall with a cap and a bee lovey. These here are all from Molly. She brought these and gave these to me before the shower. Ugh, this stuff is so cute. Look at these little shoes. 
little pink bow shoes. Here's this little romper. Seriously. And this little set with the cherries and the chambray. Look at the, look at the little shorts. And then this little onesie that says mommy's little sweetie. It's sparkly. And this outfit. So there are two different onesies, a lavender and a cream, and they've got little eyelet holes on them. The pants are navy with little bunnies. And a ruffle on the butt. This vest. Look at this. It's the size of my head. Look how cute. Oh, it's all fleecy on the inside. It's just beautiful. And this hat. <laughs> Look at the little ears. This was sent from Japan. My father's mother, my grandma, lives there. She sent me this little set. I just don't, I don't want to unwrap it. It just, I don't know. So it has a cute little pink hat with ears and embroidery on it. And a couple of onesies. And look at the little bunnies on the top of that. Oh, look at this. It says happy maternity. <laughs> I have a whole bunch of clothes from my friend Karen who did too much, too much. Two sets of Circo onesies. And these are, aren't these so me? This is just... I'm really having a moment with what is trendy in colors right now because because this is all right here. This is basically her nursery colors all right here. <laughs> Here's this little set. It has a little elephant on it that says Auntie Loves Me. And then this one with the birds. And the one on the back is floral with a little bow on the neck. This set is so much fun with the hot pink and the bows. Here's the floral onesie. And yellow polka dots. This one says messy hair, don't care. <laughs> and if she's got hair like me, that's going to be true, probably. And then this one with a B on it, it says, could I be any cuter? And this, which I can hardly stand, this little black skirt. Look at that. <laughs> this will go with a lot of things, actually. I was throwing the clothes in this amazing little basket that my cousin put all of my gifts in. It's gray with little hippo and elephants on it. This is from my aunt. Look at this. I absolutely love this. I'll have to look up, I've been meaning to Google this um, Asian infant sizes. Um, they're like 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, I've noticed. So I'll have to look up what the translation in size is there. If you know, let me know. And this sweet little set with the bear is the middle one and the one on the back. <laughs> I woke up this cute. Okay, so these are from, remember when I said my friends Kelly and Sarah gave me a bunch of gifts in a box and they made me cry? Okay, this wasn't one of the ones that made me cry, but this is where it started off. So here's a onesie of Space Cat. It's so awesome. And I don't even need to explain this to any of you guys. You just know that I would love this. And I screamed a little bit when I saw it. Did you know this year's the 30th anniversary of Labyrinth? Can you believe it? Okay, here's the one that wrecked me. You might have already seen this on Instagram. And this. Okay, let's do some accessories. I have two packs of mittens. Super fun little patterns. And this set, my aunt told me that my cousin picked this out. My teenage boy cousin picked this out for me, so it's very sweet. It's this little pack of socks and little cat mittens. And Hello Kitty socks. I mean, come on. All different colors. My aunt also found these. I have no idea where. They're little knee pads, like little legging knee pads. <laughs> this is a hat from Mike's mom. The little ladybug on it. And these adorable headbands. I think these go to those mittens. And these. <laughs> Here are some pacifier clips. This one's from my friend Kelly. She actually, it was so clever. She clipped my card to the box with this. And this is a cute little munchkin one with hearts on it. And a Hello Kitty one. 
I also received these, which are just so, so adorable. Sparkly little kitty shoes. And then speaking of shoes, my mother completely wrecked me with this. It is a little baggie that has my old shoes inside of it. These were my first pair of shoes. I'm gonna do some kitchen and feeding type stuff now. Move on from some of the emotional things for a minute. <laughs> this is our Boone lawn, which we also have some accessories for. Here is the twig, the stem, and the forb, which is like a rubber silicone bottle brush. Here are some bibs. This is an awesome little set here. Little animals and flowers. And these with the fox and the mouse. <laughs> they're like terry cloth on the back and they're water resistant in the front. These Aiden and Anais bibs with the turtles, owls, and bees. And these that I call neck cheese bibs because they have the nice big thick ring to kind of prevent that stinky neck, milk neck. And there are two here. This hedgehog bib. And this amazing chicken bib. We have two Wubbinubs. This is the kitty and the dragon. Dinosaur? Dragon. Two sets of bottles. Some munchkin spoons. We have a little bit of a variety for pacifiers. There are these and these, as well as some of these, which I think we also got two more packs and some of the ones that look like little bears. We have a couple of different teethers here. These were also from my grandma in Japan, little fork and spoon set. And these hedgehog skip hop fork and spoon. These little graduates forks. I have some of these mesh feeders, two kinds of sippy cups, and two kinds of snack or food storage cups. We have some of dishwasher baskets here, and bottle brushes, you can never have enough of those. Breast milk storage, these right here, this hedgehog plate and fork and spoon set, and a little Totoro lunchbox and a feeding set, fork, spoon, and chopsticks. Okay, moving on. Here is a unicorn hooded towel. <laughs> and a chicken one. Look at that. Also have one of these rubber lip bath cups and a little boo-boo turtle. I received this beautiful nursing cover. A pack of newborn Honest Company diapers. This is a diaper cream and these hot cold breast therapy pads. Here is a cloth diaper. Look how cute that is. A Burt's Bees lotion and boogie wipes, which people rave about. So we'll see what the hype is all about. This amazing safety first kit. And my objective is to be armed with as many different versions of thermometers as possible um, just to see what I can get away with when I need to use one. Um, and this one seemed relatively simple, so hopefully this comes in handy. This is a pacifier thermometer. What a great idea, right? So you guys know we requested books to be signed in place of cards. Um, and some people brought books, some people brought books and cards, um, but it's really exciting to see the kinds of things that showed up, um, new additions to our little girl's library that we're so excited to grow. This book here is from Mike's mom and it's called Grandma Wishes. We have Moo Ba La La La, The Rainbow Fish, which my sister loved so much as a kid. She had a big um, framed picture of it on the wall. The Saggy Baggy Elephant, Kiss Goodnight, The Napping House, which also came with a CD. This is what I'm very excited about, is Touch and Feel Farm. Love it. Oops, okay, this one wasn't a gift. I bought this at the grocery store like the next day and Mike stuck it with the rest of the books. But I've never seen this before, I love this book. It's called I Can Fly. And I've told you guys about Jim Jump. My mother tracked down a copy, so we have an extra Jim Jump because that was my favorite book when I was little. And my poor mom had to read this 
thousands of times. At least it's a short one, right? And how incredible is this? This is from Kelly and Sarah who gave me the Labyrinth onesie, but look. And these are from my friend Molly. Oh, just the nostalgia. Just It just gets you, you know? I have Curious George and Madeline. And these are part of the Kohl's Cares campaign, which also has these. cute these are really nice and soft my sister and my friend crystal also purchased us our high chair and that was put in a card mike's mom purchased our crib she said that is a tradition in her family that grandma buys the crib and um, that's on its way soon and my sister also bought me our swing so that's in the garage right now um, just waiting to be opened and gotta find a spot for it <laughs> and try and keep the gads out of it so our, my last little pile here is um, stuffed toys, blankets, and handmade gifts. I have two loveys here. One is a pink bee from the Burt's Bees line, and the other is the little hedgehog. This is a hedgehog rattle. And a little billy goat. <laughs> here is a Totoro blanket. <laughs> okay, and this stuff made me so emotional at the shower. So this is from Cousin Lori, who made the hedgehog necklace for me. This is a... Oh, Lucy can't lay on it. This is a quilt with like a cherry blossom print on the back. So cute. This wasn't from the shower, but I just had to show you guys. You may have seen this on Instagram. I'm not sure. Um, but this is my cousin's boyfriend, who is an old friend of ours, made this. He kind of began crocheting with her when they started dating competitively. Um, he was like, I can do that. And now he does. And he makes things. He makes wonderful things regularly. And um, and he made this and he told me that it was a rainbow blanket for our rainbow baby. And my cousin, who was his girlfriend, um, and they just had a baby girl, she's six months old now, she made me these wonderful things. Um, first is this little baby blanket here. And she asked me a long time ago what the nursery colors were and boy did she nail it. So she has this mint green with a gray and white and little ruffle trim on the edge. <laughs> and three matching hedgehog rattles. Look at these. You can't see her, but Lucy is right here staring really hard. And she made this totally surprised me and completely caught me off guard. I can't even imagine a sweet little girl in this. It's just, I'm so excited. And that cousin, Amanda, her mother, my Aunt Lisa, made these for me. Um, and my pets keep trying to lay in this, so I have to come up with a purpose for it right away so they, keep, they quit trying to make it into a bed. But look it, it's a little basket. Oh, it's so soft and it's just so cute and pretty. Um, my cousin said it's good for diapers to put in the living room, um, but that might make it even more inviting and comfortable on the inside for animals to sit in, so I'll have to figure something out, but we'll see. And she also made me this gorgeous baby blanket. It's so heavy. It's like so thick and heavy and ugh, it's so beautiful. So let me show you. It is reversible. This is the one side and then this is the other side. I've never seen anything like that isn't it so nice so that's it I hope I hope that was everything I have been so terribly forgetful and emotional and just every time I come into the nursery now and I see all this stuff it's it's just it's so exciting but it's just it just hits me in a place in my heart that I I just didn't even I never felt before I just feel like I just feel so much love for us and for our our history and for this little girl and I just look at all these things and I can't wait to use them and and show them to her and share them with her and have them be part of her youth and it's just it's just such a beautiful thing I'm just so grateful Mike is so grateful we're just speechless all the time 
I just can't believe it. In a few weeks, you will be able to join me for our online baby shower. It was announced by my friend Lisa, Lisa Marie TTC, um, and we have pulled together an Amazon registry for that. I'll have that linked below if you would like to participate. You are by no means required to or, or being requested to. I just know that there are some of you who have been waiting for that, and um, which is even crazier to me. And I've already started receiving gifts for it, which I, I can't even believe. So I've been setting those aside in our little girl's nursery. And um, hopefully Mike can join me and we'll open those up for you um, and have that video posted on November 11th. So thank you guys so much for watching and just for being here because it means so much to us. Okay. All right, guys. I'll talk to you soon.